Hey Saber World, it's Josh again. So I just did a video for uh, the new K-Sith sound font called Duke, uh, which is Count Dooku's sound font. Check it out. Um, really cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the Return of the Jedi um, sound font experience. So I did not make the fonts. I'm telling you that right now. I did not make the fonts. I took all the scenes in Return of the Jedi where we see Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. And I, I maybe made a few files myself, uh, maybe used some of the files that they used in the sound fonts to make it more of like um, an experience that pulls you into those moments when he has his lightsaber turned on. So, um, two lightsabers I have right here are a Vader's Vault Hero and a Solo's Hold V2. So this isn't supposed to be a comparison video. These are my two babies right here. So we're going to put this baby off to the side just so you can see her. Alright, so let's get started. Um, so here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start it. My son, it is the only way. Look. Look. So that's part of the uh, deleted scene where we see Vader um, trying to talk to Luke while he's playing around with his lightsaber, but that's what you heard at the end, kind of like his little, like he's playing with it. Alright, so uh, this is Lord Blaco's Skywalker ROTJ. So what I tried to do is I tried, you wouldn't believe how many different sounds you get from the Luke Skywalker lightsaber in that movie, in Return of the Jedi. So I tried to go with sound fonts that I'm like, wow, that really sounded like that part in the movie. Now, obviously the only thing we really hear in that part is the turning on and turning off. Before he puts it in R2. But that never actually made it into the movie. So let's go to the part where we actually see it for the first time in the movie. Shoots out of R2, lands, right when he's about to activate it. So, uh, by the way, um, I had Alan and Deanna put in a red, red, green Sun Crusher, so it wasn't white. Um, so I could play around with the colors a little bit. So even with two colors, you can get... You can get some colors out of some color mixing. Yeah. So, this is, uh, Hello. this is, you want a pencil? So, this is Mad Cow's Hero. I see you have constructed a new lightsaber. Uh, this is Father and Son by Juan Smith. Juan Sith, sorry. So this is when you actually get to see one of the only times this lightsaber is in Return of the Jedi. Otherwise, a lot of the other scenes are this. For those of you that didn't know. So this is actually where you get... To, this is the part on Endor where you get to see... Um, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, uh, close up of the lightsaber, which is the hero. Your skills are complete. Alright, so now we go to the throne room. Strike me down with all of your hatred, and your journey towards the dark side will be complete. 
So this is when he's trying to get him to pick up his lightsaber sitting right next to him. Just a minute, buddy. So this is the last encounter. I like kind of the, the louder hum. The nice thing about the nice encounter um, is that the most accurate one that was out until recently was Mark VI by Juan Sith. So, and I, I think that is the my, my favorite power on. But um, this has a nice complete package because the clashes and the swings aren't so short. They're nice and... They're more... Uh, it just sounds more complete. And Father and Son is actually Juan Sith, like I was saying. So he does have two. I think Father and Son's more of the updated version. And this is the last encounter. So, the next one is also the throne room, but it's more of a cinematic experience. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. Now, this is my favorite Return of the Jedi uh, sound font. It's called V2. It's made by the same guy that did um, The Last Encounter. I love that ignition. I just love that nice that hum. It's just, it, it's, it just reminds me so much of the movie. I still gotta work out a few things with the swing uh, sensitivity, but pretty much when you make... Yeah. I gotta play around with it a little bit, but... The idea is that, that when you're clashing, it's like, almost like fighting Vader. Yeah. I'll play around with that a little bit. Leave you here. I've got to save you. You already have. Kind of a nice finale to that whole to the whole with his lightsaber. Um, so here's a nice little surprise from Lord Blaco, uh, who did the first font that I showed you. Um, A Jedi must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? You do not know the Jedi Code. Without knowledge of those doctrines, all your training will be for naught. All Jedi must know the Code. It's the dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. <laughs> kind of thought it would kind of like a bonus thing is that you know Luke Skywalker goes on to be a Jedi Master, having a holocron. Uh, so this is holocron, holocron meditation from uh, Blaco. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge, there is no passion, there is serenity, there is no chaos, there is harmony, there is no death, there is the force. The path of the light is a difficult one to walk. We might not even see the shadows until we're surrounded. Everyone is made up of events in their past, and it forms walls around one's spirit, or breaks such walls down. The mind makes some powerless, and gives strength every step on our journey. As you can tell. With it discoveries. With persistence, you may the force be with you. As you can tell, I my sensitivities for the swings are a little bit higher because even holding it, and the battery's probably dying because I'm always I'm always playing with this this lightsaber. It's a fantastic lightsaber. Ugh. Now, um, I did pretty much the same thing with the V2. Um, Oh my goodness. Do you want to play with, do you want to play with, here, do you want to play with Daddy's Legionnaire? I've become more powerful than any Jedi. Don't look at it. 
Oh, the joys of the children. So as you can see, um, it's pretty much the same as the other stuff. You just put the kill key in the hero. Do you want a blade? Connor, do you want a blade? Come here. Ugh. Rather have you hit me with the blade than blind me. So here's the case of Here's a Vader's Vault Legionnaire with the case with uh, Duke sound font. Alright, here you go. Come on, here you go. Alright, so the one thing I wanted to show you guys about this one. Did, what would happen if Luke did turn to the dark side? So this has Shamim's uh, Vader sound font for episode 6. That one. So the people that know the history of this lightsaber um, is that uh, Alec Guinness used this lightsaber. Oh boy, I tell ya. Is that Alec Guinness used this lightsaber also as a stunt saber in Episode Four, and Omar Camel used this lightsaber for uh, training for the fight for Vader. Uh, so the first day of shooting Empire, uh, Return of the Jedi, they were like, um, why does he have his graph flex? That's, you know, he lost that. So they went in the back and grabbed this and took out some of the components and this is what you saw for most of the movie. There is the V3 stunt and the hero, but this is the most, this one is, you want up? This is the one you see the most in the movie. So just kind of an ode to sound effect selection. This is the weapon of the night of the old republic. Holocron meditation. So you heard the meditate the holocron meditation. This is Mad Cow's Calibrate. So this is more if you have a crystal chamber. <laughs> this kind of sounds like you're working on it, which is really cool. Audio player. I put the entirety of Return of the Jedi the soundtrack on the audio player. Audio player.
cool. It's the next one. It doesn't play just the sand barge scene. And it kind of has a, it has a, it has, it's going pink. You can't really see it, but it's uh, it's pink. Uh, this is a third party blade plug uh, from a dude named Will. Just so you can get some shine through when you turn the lightsaber on. And uh, it's really nice. It's really neat. Really cool guy to, to deal with. So the thing about this that I didn't even say in my in my review is it doesn't vent from the bottom. It actually vents from the clamp. It vents from the clamp. And this whole piece up here is one piece, and then this piece screws into it. So it's actually really, and then the clamp just kind of goes over it. Really well made. What? <laughs> you want to give me this one and I get to have... You get the, I get this one and you get to have my Return of the Jedi lightsaber. Sound bank selection. Audio player. Skywalker. ROTJ. So that cycles back. Uh, I didn't really want to use all 12 fonts. Just something, just what pertained to this lightsaber. My son. It is the only way. So... Um, this is pretty much what, like, what people call their unicorns. This is my unicorn. This is my one hilt that I'll never get rid of, because, uh, I absolutely love it, and so well made. So is my, so is my hero. Several times I keep thinking, why do I need both? And then I just, I pick up the hero, and it's just, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling lightsaber. So, I hope you liked it. I've been working on it quite a bit. Um, again, I did not make those sound fonts, so please don't give me any credit for that. I just did maybe some power ons, um, power off, you know, added some things to their fonts. So, um, big props to the font makers because they did such a fantastic job on all those fonts. And yeah, I hope you loved it. I'm going to be doing one for the Graflex and I'm going to be doing one for Vader. And honestly, k -Sith, with his Duke... Um, sound font already did it for me for the Dooku Saber. So when I finally get my Dooku Saber done, he already did all that kind of work. So I'm going to be, I get to, I get to take a break from it. You want to say hi? Say hi. Oh, you want a lightsaber. Okay. We're going to go play with lightsabers, guys. Have a good day and may the force be with you.